It's been an amazing conference. In fact, it's been a unique conference. I don't think anybody who's here has ever been to a conference like this. It's been singing and dancing, it's been crying, it's been sad stories, it's been optimism. But most of all, it's because of that injection of, of life and vibrancy from the farm workers themselves that this conference is not like any other. Well, today has been a day of reflecting on the current situation, looking back at the history of farm workers, but then also looking at major uh, achievements um, that farm workers have achieved, mainly around the farm worker strike of 2012, um, and looking at and emphasizing the gains that farm workers made. This has been a most enlightening uh, conference because we are actually hearing from the people whose interests are actually at stake. Farm workers' voices are not filtering through. The voices that are most dominant in the discourses about land reform are political voices. Is that you cannot solve long-term sustainability for good paying jobs in agriculture unless you globalize your campaign. The value chain is a very hierarchical value chain and it's always the farm workers that's at the bottom of the value chain and the buyers are at the top of the value chain. So there needs to be consequences and the only thing we're going to do, how we're going to do it, is to influence the supply chain. We've had academic presentations, but we've also had farm workers telling their own stories. This morning, for example, on the youth panel, we heard heartbreaking stories about evictions, about children who had dreams that they never could realize because of the frustrations that they face, the structural violence that they face, including evictions. And this has really been an eye-opener. I think everybody here has been both informed and also moved by this conference.